Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Yes, it is that time again. Time to take up some more champions. Now, I've got two champions to take up in this video. It's not going to be a really long video this time. Uh, both of these champions uh, are champions that I have wanted to take up for a while now. And there are a few that got kind of prioritized over them, you know, like Aegon, for example, since I need him to do the uh, Necropolis run uh, that I'm going to be doing very, very soon, uh, probably in about a week or so. Uh, but anyway, you got two. Now, if you think you can guess these two, feel free to leave a comment below. Let me know what your guess is. All right. Um, one of them was a surprise. And I'll tell you, uh, when we get to that one, because I wasn't actually planning to take up the second one. All right. But we're about to reveal it in five, four, three, two, one. First one up weapon X. Now you guys know, I just got weapon X, right? I got him as a five star. And by the way, I did take the five star up to rank five and I got the six star. So, of course, I'm going to take this six star up. OK, now. I actually have a plan for him outside of Battlegrounds, of course, um, but I do have a plan for him. The path that I take in Alliance Quest requires me to put three debuffs on my opponent before I can do any damage. Now. I remember back in the day, I used to use uh, Wolverine a lot. He saved me so many resources because of his regen and because of his damage. So I'm thinking that Wolverine Weapon X might be a great option for my path. He's got the regen, so that can save me some items as well. Uh, now, in this particular video, we're only taking him to rank three for now, but you already know he's going up. I just don't have the resources right now. And again, I had planned to take up a different champion um, to rank four, but needs outweighed my, um, well, Actually, both of them would have been my pleasure. Okay. Um, but more on that later. But he is definitely going to go up to rank uh, five. But I have to get the, uh, the uh, resources for him. Oh, and the uh, sound. Let me know how the sound is. Um, I think I fixed the distortion uh, that was in my last video. Uh, so let me know uh, if uh, I'm distorted here. Uh, but anyway, I'm very happy to uh, have gotten this guy uh, ranked up because I was tired of having to ban him in, um, in Battlegrounds. So you see what his uh, awakened ability is. Now, I might be able to get uh, another Weapon X. But I think that's a good use of the uh, generic, don't you? And I, I still am so upset that I wasted those 12 um, Sig Stones. However, I'm giving him as much as I can. Um, but yeah, I like him. All right, now this next one. This one was a surprise, and it is going to be Spider-Man Stark Enhanced. So let me tell you why this was a surprise. Now, for you who have been with me for a long time, you know that I went through Labyrinth of Legends with a five-star rank five Spider-Man Stark Enhanced, okay? Um, he was my first rank five, five-star. He was very expensive but he was the only one that I had, okay? Now, this meta in Alliance War 
he seems to be able to handle quite a few of these uh, opponents. So he will be a good option in the upcoming Alliance War. And after this video, um, you will see him in Alliance War because I've already used him and he did very well. All right. So that's why he ended up getting taken up. All right. Um, the first fight with him in Alliance War was against a Sandman. Section 2, Path 3, that first node. Okay, so you will see that in an upcoming war. All right, but I wanted to get this video out to you guys as fast as possible because I also want to do the uh, account tour, which I always do on January 1st. All right, so take care. And you all have a blessed day.